Hello, hello, Stanfords. This is Yana Smakula. Welcome back for another Hero Arts video. In this one, which is a part of the color layering series, we're taking a closer look at the color layering moth stamp set. Join me as I test several color options and layer options, and also show you how to achieve a lot of drama with the help of color on your cards. Here's a quick look at this stamp set. It features one relatively large moth image, a couple of sentiments, and some supportive imagery to help you create scenes. The moth itself has four separate layers, one outline, and three layers to color the image. I'm going to start by stamping the outline in Hero Arts Intensified Black. I have pre-cut white cardstock panels to smaller size panels so that each panel will fit one moth image. I've done that to make it easier to stamp these quickly and efficiently with the help of my mini Misty stamping tool. I've positioned the outline layer, stamped it in black, removed the panel, added the next panel and kept on stamping until I stamped all of these panels that you see here. I think I had about 12 panels to make 12 images. With the outline stamped in black, I went ahead and picked several color combinations to color these images with. There are three layers, so you'll need three colors of each. I picked Deep Ocean, Aegon, and Ultra Pink. Next, I went with Grape Juice, Butter Bar, and Tight Pool. And for the third group, I selected Red Royal, Green Apple, and Soft Pink. It is cliche to say this, but the sky is the limit here with the color combinations and choices that you have for the moth. It can be monochromatic, it can be wildly colorful, heck, if you want, it can even be done in different colors of embossing powder. The layers here do not overlap, so you don't need to worry about picking the right colors of ink that will work well together once stamped one on top of the other. The images are also very, very easy to align once you've stamped the outline. The outline will be your guide, so do start by stamping the outline layer first. You don't have to stamp it in black if you don't like black. It can be gray, brown, or any other dark enough color so that you would be able to see it through the layers placed over it. To make it easier to stamp all of these layers, I worked in assembly line fashion. I positioned the top butterfly layer, aligned it, and then stamped it onto my panels in different colors of ink. I had 12 panels, so that gave me four panels of the same color. I did use the Hero Arts Ultra Clean stamp cleaning solution to clean each stamp layer when switching to a different color to avoid getting muddy colors on my paper. Next, I stamped the middle layer in the exact same way, 12 times, four times in each of the three different colors of ink. And finally, I moved to stamping the bottom layer, again in the same way, switching to a different color after four impressions. I really like how well this image is designed, I love how easy it is to align it, and I also love that the layers do not overlap, but rather color each their own section. This makes it very easy to stamp beautiful images on your paper. There is a coordinating die available for the moth stamp set, so I used mine to die cut all of these images out in my die cutting machine. This gave me beautiful images with a white outline to them. Now, I knew I wanted to create a pattern for my card, and I wanted it to sit on a black background. I'm a fan of dark, bold backgrounds for my cards, as they add a lot of wow and drama to my projects. And it's been a while since I've done that, so I decided I would use a black background for this card. Now, I didn't really like how the white outline around the butterflies looked on the black background. So I used my black Copic marker, any marker will do here, and I colored the outline black. Now, this might sound weird or tedious, but it is a fun way to change up the look of your stamped and dyed images. And it doesn't have to be just black. If you use a dark blue background, for example, just look for a suitable marker color to color the outline of your die cut to have it match in color to the background. Now with all of that black color, the top of the moth image became lost. The antennae part just became blended in with the black coloring. I wanted to fix that and I also wanted to add some glossy shine to the card. 
So to do this, I clear heat emboss the moth outline over the already stamped and colored images. To do this, I use the negative panel from the die cut. I place the die cut back inside the panel and inside my mini misty tool. I treated the die cut with an anti-static powder tool, stamped the outline in clear embossing ink, covered with clear embossing powder, and heat set it to melt the powder. The result? Just beautiful. You can also heat emboss it in some other color of embossing powder. I did try using gold at first, but I didn't quite like how the gold went with the other colors in the card. Having heat embossed all of the butterflies, I started arranging them on a black cardstock panel cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. This will make the front of my card. With the butterflies arranged, I used black foam adhesive and foam mounted them one by one onto the panel. Using black foam adhesive ensures that the foam squares will not be visible from the side of the card. As you can tell, many of the butterflies went outside the edge of the panel, so I trimmed them using scissors and then I used the leftovers for the bottom row and also for the very, very top row. I also saved the other full images and partial leftover images for a future project. To finish this card, I added a simple thank you very moth sentiment from the moth layering stamp set. I stamped it in black and heat embossed it in clear and this card was done. I hope this video has given you some stamping ideas to try with your color layering stamp sets from Hero Arts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.